have a question for the government representative in the Senate. Senator Gold, COP28, the UN Glo Global Climate Conference opens today in Dubai with three of our Senate colleagues in attendance. There are reports that COP28 could be the food co COP as the world recognizes the connections between climate, nature, agriculture, and food security. It's said that the food systems of the future should have regeneration at the core, ensuring we're giving more to nature than we're taking from it. World Economic Forum report suggests that nature-positive policies could generate an estimated $10 trillion in annual business value and create 395 million jobs by 2030, whilst restoring and protecting nature. Senator Gold, could you tell us what Canada is bringing forward at COP to contribute to this very important food, agriculture, nature, and climate conversation? Senator Gold. Thank you for your question, Senator. Uh, COP28, I think, is the next very significant milestone in our collective efforts uh, to advance human security, our economic prosperity, and frankly, the health and well-being of our planet. And the government recognizes that uh, there are great challenges still ahead. Government engages to work with its partners around the world to accelerate, to accelerate our global efforts to reach the Paris Agreement goal of limiting uh, a global warm, warming to one and a half degrees Celsius, uh, make, putting that within reach. In the government's opinion, putting a cap on oil and gas emissions is one of the key commitments of this government's emissions reduction plan. The government remains committed to that and it will be uh, working to do that with its partners uh, during COP28. Senator Coyle. Um, uh, thank you, although that didn't really answer my question about the focus on food at this uh, COP and agriculture. Again on Nature, Senator Gold, a new Nature Journal paper predicts that restoring and protecting forests could capture 226 gigatons of carbon if they're allowed to recover from degradation and deforestation, equivalent to 23 years of human emissions. Senator Gold, will Canada be taking a leadership role at COP on matters of forestry-linked climate solutions? If so, how? Senator Gold? Yes, Canada is already a leader in forest uh, management and, and is delivering on its promise uh, to plant the two billion trees. It's on track to do that with hundreds of million trees built since 2000 uh, and, and commitment, uh, 100, more than 100 million since 2021 and commitments to build, uh, plant 374 million more. I, I believe that, and I, I've run out of time, but I, climate change and addressing it is central to food security and I thought I was attempting to answer your question that way. 